think there is a right and a wrong, but I don't think people recognise it. Uh, what people don't realise is any of these people walking past is to become homeless. Well, I just come out, overcome them by myself. I don't go to anyone really to get help. I don't even know of government sources that would help me at the moment. People get lost in work, chasing money for electricity bills and, and rent, and nine to five work and all that. They, they don't really live life properly, you know? Like they just, to me, that's just existing. Don't think about it. Once you start thinking, that's where you go wrong. A problem only becomes if you allow it to be a problem. I came here to get away from an ex-missus that wouldn't stop badgering. I came here to Canberra just to get away from her, to try and make a better life. And I've done a good job. I've come down off the methadone. I'm clean today. Like, you know what I mean? I'm proud of that. I had a fiance for seven years and um we break up, I end up on the streets through not really the fault of my own. Had a nice place to live, it was nice and clean and tidy, had no wet bags showing up, no problems ever, just nice friends coming over, nice people, nice friends. The flat I was living in, um, the people that lived below me, home invaded me, um, fractured my skull, broke my orbital, smashed my cheekbone twice. But since then I've grown a beard and I look 20 years older with a beard. I shaved a beard off, I still look like I'm in my late 30s, early 40s, you know. I, I was always a shy person, I never thought I could do this. But it got to the point where I had to do this. Like, I knew a few people that did it and they said it worked. And, to the point where I had to and I just had to overcome my shyness. We're human and we exist and we're not second-rate citizens or anything. People just categorise us as all dummies and dummies or and druggers, you know? And that's really sad. And a little bit get to know the person, just to say good day and then it would only take him 30 seconds to work out that person is not a drug though, you know? <laughs> like it's, it's not that hard, you know? But uh, most people won't give you 30 seconds. It becomes pretty tough and um, all you can do is go through it, you know what I mean? And, and hope for your friends to help you, you know what I mean? Like, and sometimes your friends are there, sometimes they're not. So it, de it depends on that as to where you stand, you know what I mean, in, in, in the city at the time. Just down from Parliament House, about half a K down the street from Parliament House. Shot through the side of the leg here. What do you see there? Shetty attempt. See the scars. I got a stab wound. The goes all the way up to my armpit. And that's the reason I came to Canberra, from the south coast of New South Wales. I seen a guy get stabbed to death behind the church across the car park there. Stabbed so hard the knife went through his chest five times. There was a samurai sword and that deep into the ash belt. Right. Why don't you fucking look at this and feel them and film them? Then you know. I've had a brushless plane, reconstructed solder. Had my head. Bashed in with steel poles. I've been glassed in the face on Saturday night. Been set on fire. Been made to dig graves. <laughs> All kinds of shit. I've lived in every other city, and this is the worst city I've lived in for just violence.
I could stay at a mate's place, but I got rid of the dogs, you know? Like, every mate's got a cat or a dog, or some reason they can't let the dog stay, or hotels, you know, dog, um, refuges, all that count, counted out with the dogs, you know? And, um, but they make me happy, you know? Like, even if I'm in a swag, I'm, I'm, I go to sleep happy, you know? Like, probably my whole life, some of the most, the happiest I've been has actually been homeless. Just nothing really to worry about but the next meal and making sure the dogs are all right and we're all together and, and yeah, that's all I care about now. Yeah, life's a lot simpler like that. <laughs> so, I'd somehow, I don't know how, I'd like to make enough money to buy my dream bike. This is a Ducati 900. But I don't know if that'll ever eventuate or if that'll happen. Everybody out there, please, if you want to live to my age and plus, be yourselves. Don't let anybody put you down. Your family comes first. You know, you've got to know the bad to appreciate the good, you know, and not sleep in the gutter before you appreciate the bad, you know. <laughs> And it's true, you know, that's, that's what I pump into my head every day. Um, 